If I were to tell you, no one made this bottle, over time, by wind and temperature and materials that are plastic and silica came together and this made this bottle with all this writing itself, with this cap and so on. You would say this is a magical explanation and it doesn't make coherent sense. No, I would say that this it makes coherent sense and that humans that are very, I don't know, uh, intellectual or I don't know, have this conscious concept, they understood, okay, you can take it. Mm -hmm. And if it builds, if this is the way it, it was created, you can maybe try to do it in something else. Are you suggesting that this bottle, without anyone making it, any company, I mean, this is made by this company, right without any company manufacturing it putting plastic together in this shape and making that bottle to contain water and actually having water as well which is mineral okay to say that this is possible without any intelligent agency to make it I would say we need to question that how do you explain how do you explain how do you explain a complex organized piece how do you no, no, no. explain how? organic chemistry? Organic chemistry is explained by a designer. You cannot explain otherwise. So this is why my position is stronger every single time that you bring anything in, in the, from the real world. This bottle, to say that this can be produced without anyone making it, it's like believing that, you know what, I can fly just by flapping my wings. This is how equivalent it is. I, I also you see, look, if I do this, can I fly? I can't. I don't have wings. But your assumption about flying is based on something. It's not like... Magic! You know, no, you know that things can fly. This is magic you if you say it's not made by anyone. You cannot fly. You know that. You know that anatomic... Can, can this be made fly? without any maker? Maybe. Can this... How? Is it possible that... What, what about these microphones? They pick up... No, no, no. Try to understand the, um, uh, the, the, the situation. This microphone that takes your sound, transmits it by a wireless to another device, and then they can replay it back. Do you think it's possible, just by time, as time went by, the matter from the pieces of metal and plastic gathered together and they make it? Is it possible? To aggregate, to aggregate, to assemble, to assemble, to bring together by itself, without any designer. No, but how, but no I agree, no. Why? God didn't create a no, 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 no. We're talking about the issues of designer. So, if this requires a designer, if this requires a designer, is the universe more complex than this or less complex? So nature is the, no. the universe, whole universe. More complex. More complex. So something, something less complex requires a designer. Something more complex than the universe requires a designer or not? How do you now rationally explain that? Less complex things requires a designer. More complex things does not require a designer. Because this, I, I mean, this is a one-way thing. You create, you design, you produce. The word is made out of so many concepts, and then you say, okay, there's so many concepts and so many processes. So there's probably some designer that I don't know takes it all under one umbrella and creates everything together, right? That's what you will say. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. Let me clarify my position. We clearly see the complexity in the assembly organized complexity that is why we cannot say this can be simply a product of just chance happening without any designer the universe has higher level of organization and complexity so as a rational human being we cannot then be inconsistent and say the universe which is more complex in its design it, it was made by nothing made by no designer so even design observation of design of this microphone and observation of the universe and the design within it we can rationally conclude that the universe must also have a designer like this one must have a designer so this is rational. Okay. So if the universe has, let's say, I, I'm going with you, if the universe has a designer. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm returning to the, to the first thing you said about the fact that people sabotage whatever that this God is saying. The corrupted so message. They corrupted the message. Okay? So if everything is so designed, why 
does lead people corrupt this? Sure, because God has a... There is wars. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it easily explained. Life so bad. Yeah, I, I know it's... it's Many countries. I know we don't want not that. Water, not uh, food. Yes, water. yes. I know we don't want that. We don't want poverty. We don't want warfare. We don't want racism. Okay. In fact, we? human beings, we are rational, we have, compassionate. We have, we, have, uh, we have same kind of similar kind of understanding that we do not want to see people, innocent people, getting murdered. We don't want people to be tortured and oppressed. In your explanation, do we yeah. have free will? Yeah. You have free will and I have free will. So what I'm saying to you, which you, I'm sure you will agree with me, I'm explaining, I'm explaining. God does not wish mankind to totally destroy itself. God created mankind and gave mankind a way to live their lives in peace, in tranquility, in justice. God gave human beings a free will, a free will in which they can follow God and follow his laws or, or not follow because he wants human beings to appreciate with their own free will their creator and submit and thank their creator voluntarily with their own volition not to be forced god doesn't want us to be like robots where you believe in without any freedom of choice so god agrees that so, there are some people so can i will not believe yeah can i just make a point why we have this problem so, because human beings have the potential to disobey and create warfare, economic disasters and so on, God sends prophets and messengers say, and says, don't follow this way. Follow a way in which you can live in tranquility. No, 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 in every, no, 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 do not kill, do not steal, do not rob. This has been the message universally. What happens is, some people, they want to become richer, more powerful. And the way they can do that is by exploiting other people, by killing them, taking their riches and so on. These people, they will be accountable in the day of judgment when they will be accountable for what wrong they have done. But God doesn't want simply to, you know, imagine someone wants to stab someone and kill and God then makes him to a butterfly and that's it. That will be like, have no freedom of choice. God doesn't want people to kill, but he doesn't stop people from committing these actions. He says the people who do these actions, they are criminals in the sight of God, sinful, and they have to pay for their sins. When they pay, how they pay? Either, either in this world in this life where there will be life for life tooth for tooth as a jewish background you should know god can punish them and protect the society from these kind of criminals as well as in the hereafter those who get away there are many people who get away but those who get away they will face god and his yeah. justice. But there, are, there is this concept you of Messiah. The, you know, the concept the world, of Jesus. We believe God is just. Justice demands that when we die, the good and the bad, they should not have the same end. The worms comes and eats us when you're good and when you're bad. It doesn't make any sense. Justice demands there will be day of retribution, day of accountability, day of judgment. But if people corrupt the religious, so how, where, where is the solution? Ah, the solution is... Because of, you know, the concept of Mashiach, the Messiah will come to Israel. And then all the religious people say, okay, you're not doing the mitzvahs, you're not doing nothing, so it's not good, so the Messiah will not come because of you. So it creates a society where there are people who have resolved the blame, with them and there are people who are okay we're good so if it, we have free will and god gave us free will to not believe yeah. not follow his like uh, yeah. so god always says you follow his prophets and messengers and the scripture that he sent with any deviation is going to create problems it's going to create another religion so christianity as you know today as you and i know today is a deviation from the truth of oneness of God. They made a tr Trinitarian God when God is one. When God sent to Moshe, one God, no gods before me, no God after me.
Yeah? Israel is not the first, first born. And then they come along and say, no, God has a son. This is a deviation. So God does not let people to... It's like uh, going away, being change changing, in, changing yeah. message yeah. so what about this? so Adam when jesus or the messiah he came yeah did he did not come to tell people worship me because he could not because the jewish people knew but god is the one to be worshiped anyone who comes and says i am god they have the right to kill him they have the right to kill crucify whatever right because that's what God's message is. Anyone who claims and, 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 and becomes a God themselves, they should be punished on this from this world. That's what the message sent. So we believe, we believe as Muslims, Yesuh or Isa in Arabic, Al Masih was a Messiah, Mashiach, who came to remind the Jewish people to come back to the worship of God and to give glad tidings of a future messenger come who will be universal for all people not for the israelites not for the europeans not for the chinese or indonesians but for the whole world moses peace be upon all the prophets and upon moses he did not come to every single nation he came to bani israel children of israel isa likewise al -Islam, came to bani israel the lost ones among them to bani israel but then god same God sent a messenger, a Nabi, a Rasul, as a rahmatul lil alameen, a rahmah, a, a mercy to all of the worlds. That is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa which we, you as a Jewish person or a Christian, as a Christian, as Muslim, we should all accept him because this is where God told us finally, finally, finally how to live our life without any warfare and intolerance and racism and all these things. Without any religious. Hmm? I I think that I am a do you do you see justice in this world without believing in God? What's happening in Palestine? Muslims and Jewish people fighting with each other. Where is justice? Exactly. So you don't see justice there. You see injustice is happening. But I, if I don't believe in God, I am myself. But you know that there is a God, though. Ah, I agree with you. I no, I agree. The concepts that you have: justice, compassion, love, mercy. This is good thing. This is all coming from also God's teaching. But God also wants us to follow a way of life that He wants us to follow. Not what... Okay. Who knows us more than God? Do we know more than God how to operate ourselves? For example, do you know... I am jealous that you believe God. You can believe too. You can believe too. I'm sure. Sure. But do you know what we said about it makes rational sense to believe in a designer of this universe? We can bring so many other examples to illustrate this point in which we can be sure and convinced that there is a creator who is one and absolute sovereign and all powerful and all knowing. We can come to this conclusion. Once you know that there is a creator who created us for a reason, why are we going to be stubborn or lazy and say, I'm not going to listen to you? If, if you know that he is the one who is all knowledgeable, he knows what's best for us, what food is best for us, what way of living is best for us. He doesn't, he should, he would not leave us astray to our demise. What happened to communism? How many people through Stalin and Lenin and others were killed because of their ideology, false ideology, ide communism. Millions of people, their life was lost because of human beings thought they can live their life by thinking about how to live. I want to ask you, so the Palestinian and the Jewish people now is killed because they don't believe in God? No, they believe in God, but, but the problem is elsewhere. But they, some people are committing oppression. You take someone's land, usurp the land, you invade the land, you take over, 
that's injustice being committed already. Yeah, so that's why the problem starts from there. But they excuse it with religious. You know, this is the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Like a lot of many other problems. But the problem is that they're saying, okay, in religious, like God said, we need to be here. Exactly. God says you can all live together. Not always. It depends. What happened? Just give you an example. Yeah. What happened? What happened before 1914 or 1900? When the Muslims were in power, the Jewish people were living in peace. So were the Christian people, so were the Muslim people. When there was a power shift, government shift, that's where the problems happen. Islamic paradigm is such that you can have your differences and your belief. You don't have to accept Islam if you don't want to. No one can force you. So when, for example, Europe, Europe was killing and massacring and torturing the Jewish people. Do you know where the Jewish people go? Where, where they went? They went to the Muslim countries, like Islamic Spain. They went there to have protection. The Jews didn't, you know, the, yeah. in Spain, the Jewish people didn't have in 19... No, what, what I'm saying is, when Europe was trying to eliminate and annihilate the Jewish people from existence, they found safe haven within the Muslim lands. The Muslims would protect them, like they would protect the Christians, and their faith too. That's why if you go to like in Syria, you will see within the same road, in one side there is a mosque, and another side there is a church, for thousands of years. People have, political shift has made a lot of Jewish people to go from one country to the other, but initially they were living. You had the Jewish quarter there, and so on and so forth. So, because of political shifts, the problem occurred. But Islam did not introduce a problem to the Jewish no, community. Nobody said that Islam did that. And by the way, we're looking for a new prime minister in Israel. Okay. You want to come? <laughs> I don't know your politics, so I cannot comment. It doesn't comment. matter. He doesn't know our politics also. Yeah. It right. doesn't really matter. Yeah. You, so, you will be best. Send right. the, send so, the we, we, we want to see peace and tranquility happening in anywhere in the land. And the best way we can agree and unite is uniting under God's law, worshipping God, following his messenger. And this is what our invitation to you is to look into Islam and see that Islam is not taking away from what you have. No, Islam will give you. Nobody said that. Can I ask you a yeah. different question? Yeah. What's going on here? What is so this? Speaker's Corner. Okay, I'll give you a, a, a no, brief background. Speaker's Corner, but what's going on here today? Who organized this? No one organizes. Speaker's Corner, people come, take the opportunity to have. Yeah, I live in London. Yeah, I don't. Some people come from a long way. From Leeds, from Manchester, from Birmingham, because they know this is a place in which they can have an exchange of information. And so the subject is not, uh, is not determined in advance. Like the subject is it happens only on Sundays. Ah. So if you if you if you are a regular, for example, and you want to discuss with someone who's a regular, you can arrange. Say, you know what? Let's um, have a motion that we can debate next week or three weeks later. You can arrange that. But people normally come as they go and pass as a tourist and they can engage and, and participate in, in, in a discussion in which you can really remove your misconceptions, enlighten yourself to be a, a better human being. I find that it has that opportunity, that, that potential, as well as the negative which is very toxic when you go away feeling like someone's really undermined you and you feel that someone's really put you off from something. This has, it's a double-edged sword, yeah. but the benefit is there more than the harm I, I feel personally. And if we can open up people's minds to, to tolerate each other with our differences, that's how we can live. Yeah? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So that's our open invitation to you to become Muslims and save yourself from the hellfire. Because it's real. Hellfire is real. Paradise is real. We should not somehow, you know, for our temporary life of this world, 120 years, 130 years, we're not going to live more, more longer than that. Are we going to sacrifice our eternal life in a place of happiness? or a place of torture just because 120 years of this life we need to we need to look at our priorities
Can I take Muslim, like, to be a Muslim without the hijab and everything? Look, hijab should not stop you from becoming a Muslim. When you become a Muslim, when you become a Muslim, you would recognize hijab as a function. It has a function, it's a role. No, no, no. Forget about hijab. Dress. Dress. You know, people covering the hair? Okay, right. Sure, sure. Let me explain in a bit. But there is a purpose. Just like, just like, uh, just like our, sure, sure. Just want to give an example of a functionality of things. Our dress have a function. Do you agree? No, no. no do, do our dresses not have a role, a purpose, a function? Why are we not naked in a hot weather like that? Because some of us we feel, if not the majority of us, that we should not just go naked and, and, and show our sexualities and our nudities and our public bodies because of when God created us. I'll give you an example. No, 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 no. This is something different. When God created us, He created within us certain desires and attraction for a reason. So that when there is attraction between the opposite sexes. Uh, but we already agree, so let's not get there because we will disagree definitely. You're a man, I'm a woman. It always. We have differences of attraction, right? No, we have differences of opinions about the things you can wear. No, no, no. Do you? Okay, well, tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Do women get attracted the same way men get attracted? I don't know. I've never been a man, but uh, I hope they do. Right. And I hope this man right. can hold himself from do you know, looking and touching. No, I, 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 I appreciate. Whatever she wants. No, I appreciate. She have to cover herself just because a man cannot hold his person. I appreciate your... No, I appreciate the way you think. For us, it's easy? No, brother, brother, one second, one second. I appreciate... But thank you for the honesty. No, no, I appreciate men should control themselves even if a woman is naked, right? But the biology is such that there will be attractions... Actually, there is a biology. Before that, God will want to No, 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 you need to understand something. Do you know... Okay, good. Do you know... Thank you. Do you know why we don't go to work I got naked. Any any workplace apart from pornographic industries, whatever. Why? Distracting. There you go. You said it. I said it. Right. There's a difference. Then you claim at the at the courthouse that someone like did something. No. Wrong. Wrong. We don't blame. We don't just blame. We say we are equally responsible. If I have, if I have. No, 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 no. This is what. No, no, no. Wear whatever I want. Even though the consequences may be bad. Because you want the original, and you know the bigger problem is. No, no, not this. This is, this is. Let's talk about extreme. But extreme. We, we, we say. Why go to the other extreme? No, we say, men and women should be dressed in a modest way. That's what God wants. Okay. But God, God, do you agree? We should be dressed modestly. Yeah, Fine. The limits. Right now, it's not like her no, no. What I'm asking is this: to define modesty, human beings have a disagreement. Do you agree? You just agree. Disagreement. We say. We let God define that so that we don't have to be in this disagreement. God knows more than us. He knows how human mind thinks, whether it's the mind of a man or a woman. So if God tells us these are the parameters and the boundaries, we accept. God is not a man or a woman. God is not a man or a woman. He is unlike, he is unlike anything. He is not like anything. He is a creator, originator, but there's no resemblance to God. We, creation, is totally unlike our creator. This is, he's unique. That's how the Quran tells us, unique. He's Ahad, he's Wahid, he's Ahad. No, sister, sister, can I just clarify? I said that's not the reason why you have to cover up. Not because men can't yeah. control you. You make a that's better Muslim, do you know that? <laughs> because God said to me. No, but you have more different Ask yourself if that's a good reason. No, I think you heard me wrong. No, no, no. I think it's much harder for you to say, okay, God said that. You really haven't.
said it's about that's your opinion. Yeah. The last point, last point before you go, I was just saying about the hijab, for example. Once someone becomes a Muslim, a Muslim woman will willingly want to wear it because they appreciate what function the hijab has. It has a preventative function. Just like our dresses have a preventative function, the hijab also have for women some preventative function so that she would not be molested in public from this prying evil eyes of perverts and so on and so forth. Right? So it has a function. But you don't need to like think about like, oh, I am not going to become a Muslim because I have a disagreement with hijab. That shouldn't stop you from accepting Islam. But once you are a Muslim, you would want to wear it perhaps. Yeah? You take care. Well, nice talking to you both of you. What's your name? Hava. Hava. I know what you're saying? I'm Mansoor. I'm just speaking to you. Mansoor. You take care. Bye bye. You would know that you probably can. That's the problem. You know, earlier I wanted to know. Uh, are there going to be people attempting to impeach them? Of course, you'll find it all over. Are they valid? That's the point. The whole point of critical analysis. No one stopped in the middle. Why? I don't know. You could see everything okay. Okay. Earlier, earlier I wanted to tell you about this. Camera, go, camera. Camera?